Hello everyone, so I haven't done a video in a while. So today I figured I'd touch on the Universal Audio LA610 Mark II that I have. I made a video of it before, testing the settings, that's when I first got it. And now after a few years, I've gotten my favorite settings. Settings that I believe sound the best for me, and I haven't had any complaints from professional mixers and so on. So um, I'm going to be using it with uh, uh, my Neumann TLM103, and I'll just show you the settings and let you hear how it sounds. So here we are. I plugged the camera directly into this headphone out that's coming straight from this jack which distributes. But just to be safe, what I'm going to do is I'm recording it on Cubase so you can hear the direct feed through the USB, which is probably better, but I'm, we'll see. I'll actually test that out too because it's been something I've been meaning to do. So here are my base settings. Let me move this wire out of the way. So the gain, I've been leaving... God, that's in the way. There we go. So the gain, I've been leaving at zero over there. Gain at zero. The, for the microphone, for this Neumann TLM 103, I did a lot of back and forth testing. Um, and between five, 500 and 2K. Um, and, I've cho I've, and I have also read that this microphone uses 2K, so I've, I left it at that. For guitar, I use 4.7K and switch it to high Z and I turn off the uh, phantom power here. Um, I leave this pad on, I guess, instead of negative 15. Um, polarity out is where I have it. And I this level, I've always just kept it at 5. I've kept the level at 5. And for me, I like putting this EQ at plus 3 at around there for 4,500. Because I think it, it, I like how I just like how it reacts with my voice. People have different voices, and that's how I use it. And I turned the bass down a little bit as well, because this is a very nice warm microphone, but I don't want it all that. So that's how I leave that. The peak reduction um, at two, and this is on compression that I leave it, not the limiter. Compression because it has a certain um, type of nice soft in and out. That's only you. You, you only really hear that if you have the peak reduction, you know, compression on really high. The gain, I leave it around two, so I always leave these two around the same. I don't know why I've always defaulted to that, but that's just how I've been doing it. Um, I have, yeah, that's just the visual for the meter. I leave it on the output so I see what total is, and on compression. And um, as far as plugging it in, I have been just leaving the, pr the um, this is my Scarlett, Focusrite Scarlet 2i2, and I've been leaving it online and turning the turning the level all the way down, and that's what I and of course Phantom powers off, and that's what I figure, um, and that's what I've been read and been told that lets the preamp do all the work, and this doesn't do anything, so you don't feel this one's preamp, and that's been working out. So um, that's this is how it sounds. I've been speaking on it. And I, I just really like the sound. I'm very happy with it. When I sing, it comes out very nicely and smooth. Um, but this is just my speaking voice. I'm sorry about the fans in the background. Uh, it's just really hot in here. I got to keep them fans on. Um, but I think that's that's all I'm going to show for today. This is my LA610 and my, my Neumann TLM103, which I need to get a shock mount for because people are recording and stomping on the floor and it, you can hear it all but yeah that's how this sounds and I'll go ahead and play some songs on the on the video I'll add it in there uh, some songs recorded on it that were um, professionally mixed and mastered on this microphone all right thanks for watching
Saturday 